everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I am here today with an Uncommon Plans um, planner haul and the first week of 2020, January. And real quick, I want to show you, um, this is how I store my kits. Um, I have two different ways. This is how I store the, my digital kits <clears throat> recently and I don't have two blades in my cameo so it I'm try and get my lighting a little better so it doesn't cut all the way through the pages so I just leave them eight and a half by eleven and I put them punch holes in them and put it in a binder. So this is the Adams Family digital kit from Uncommon Plans and I just have regular matte paper because it's less expensive. Um, although next time I think I'm going to get the um, the the buttery matte paper. I haven't wrote down somewhere what it's called. So these are the full boxes and the checklist and they have skulls instead of like little hearts or whatever. And then um, there's the house. This is washi here. And then your like quarter boxes, your half boxes have skulls and um, different designs in them. One has a house. And then there's like the wallpaper. This one has bats in it. And then the washi has spiders and like a wallpaper damask design. And then you have all these like very cute little um, deco pieces with all the family and then some banners. And washi, I like this glitter washi here with the spider webs on it. I think it's really pretty. And you have some bill do, some like laptop stickers so you can use it for work or YouTube, and mail stickers, Instagram, um, your trackers, Instagram cleaning, um, prescriptions or vitamins, and your workout. Of course, you can always cover up that icon and make it your own tracker. Appointment labels and quarter boxes. And then some functional stickers up here. Your weekend banner is like a an actual banner. And that is it for the Adams Family kit. I got the Big Bang Theory kit. And it has these... They look like... Um, they're definitely not Adams. They, they, I, they, to me, they look like the signs for like toxic waste <laughs> but it does it gets the I, I get it um so there's all the characters and this is like a kawaii big bang theory and these are for happy planner um she does have some Erin condren and they're all digital for now uh she may open her physical shop again but for right now she has all these beautiful di digital images that um you can definitely partake in and i love the storage system so um, this is your half boxes here. You get two of each design, eight different designs, lots of half boxes. You get these quarter boxes. Again, the same appointment time. Now these, this is a newer kit and there is, um, your trackers you can fill out yourself. Um, mail, bill due, your laptop, and then your half box, um, checklists. And then your washi tape has the... They're not beakers, they're test tubes, and your glitter, wa glitter washi, your deco stickers, and then all your functional stickers. Your weekend banner down there. And then your frozen kit, which I think this is the kit I'm going to be using for the first week of 2020. Because uh, it's not really cold outside, but it's, you know, it's winter. Uh, so I got my full boxes and my half boxes. Um, snowflakes, like winter trees purple snowflakes, purple winter trees, just like a winter landscape, and then purple, pink, and blue and white snowflakes, and then like a chevron. Or maybe it's just like, no, I'm going to call it a chevron. You have your full box checklists, or which are snowflakes, half box checklists, um, the appointment, the quarter box appointments, and again with your habit trackers, and then your mail, bill due, and laptop stickers to use as you would wish and then the glitter headers I like the pink 
uh, washi and uh, a little extra washi, weekend banner, functional stickers, and deco, including snowflakes. And <clears throat> the Beetlejuice collection, which I really like the Beetlejuice collection. Um, it's got the full box and the half boxes. And these are way more stickers than you need to do a week. <clears throat> I'm, excuse me, I'm practicing doing two weeks out of one. Uh, the only thing that I see, like, the only issue I see with that is that there's going to be, like, my, both my planners are going to look the same because I'm still filling out last year's. The glitter planner, it's like the big glitter, and I really like the colors, the black, red, green, and purple. Uh, the washi, or bottom washi, is spiders, and a weekend banner, functional stickers, and then this deco, the book of the recently deceased, which I love. There's the little house, and this is the kawaii beetle juice. So that is my Uncommon Plans digital haul. And I think I shared... I already shared my physical haul, so um, I will be pulling in. I did get some more. Okay, so before I decided, um, before I decided I was going to keep everything in the eight and a half by elevens. Let me move that out of the way because that is just way more functional for me. I am messing with my background paper. I was cutting them out. This is, I showed you this. And then these are the kits I bought. These are like kits that I've already used and there's enough left in these to, you know, go another round. Some of them I printed out twice. Like this one I printed out twice. And then these are my physical kits. Well, that one was a physical kit. Um, I also have this one. So I'm kind of debating. Like this one has a creepy vibe. A, a, like a Cinderella vibe. This is a, this is a contender. I'm gonna keep that one out. This is a contender for the first week because um, I like the Frozen kit, but this is more my style. Um, uh, like the Beetlejuice. Like I myself am strange and unusual. And then this one um, I already used once. Uh, these are just the different types of ladies. So, but I've decided to share all of these kind of separately. This is my physical haul, which I will be using shortly. Um, those two, I already showed those. Very beautiful. Um, I got the, she sent me a sampler of the Adams Family Deco, which I love. And then some of her, um, she has naughty words, guys. Huh? Uh, some of her deco too. So I'll be pulling some of this stuff in. I got some little bandits from La Petite uh, Bandit and uh, I actually got quite a few of her digitals on Black Friday also. So I will be doing a video haul of those. But let's get into the planner, shall we? So I was going to do a video on this, but never got around to it. This is a Paper House production planner, and it is Harry Potter. Very similar to the one I used last year, which is somewhere I'm going to find, so you guys can see it. It's right here. This was my Paper House production planner last year, and I got the kit. And I actually got this kit again for Christmas this year, and I love it, so I'm happy. I got So I got two more of these, so no fear. I will be using these. Um, so my 2019 planner, uh, I'm not quite done with yet, so I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, but just to give you an idea, the Happy Planner stickers do work in the production, Paper House production planners. The boxes are, are you know, a little longer. Uh, the monthly kits, you have to kind of trim down a little bit, but for the most part, I am happy with how they work. So once I get my 2019 done, I can do like a full flip through with you guys. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and then last year I used the Conquest Planner 
to do my everyday planning, but it was a bit big for me to carry around. So I got the small paper house production Harry Potter planner. So I am all paper house production uh, as far as my planners go this year, and I'm really happy with it. I haven't gotten any kits for this, but they do have digital happy planner mini kits. I'm curious whether or not they fit. Um, so I keep my daily notes in here. And so this is the first week of January and this is the week I'll be planning. So I am going to just hop into it. I changed my mind about my kit. I'm going to use this, um, this kit and I will link it down below. If she's got it up, she was switching from physical to digital. So, um, go through the, the pages with you. She has this deco sheet here beautiful deco with this huge box. This is the half box checklist, the quarter boxes, the washi and the bottom washi. Uh, glitter headers, three uh, banner checklists, weekend and then some more deco. Thank you for filling up the page. We have our functional stickers and I'm really not sure what these stickers are for quite yet. I will figure it out. A whole sheet of half boxes and a whole sheet of quarter boxes, including your um, trackers, bills, dues, mail, stickers, and such. And then your full boxes, which are beautiful. And especially with this big decoration, de decorative box, I will not use all these. Like, I won't use this one. So this, this kit's going to be good for two weeks. Keep that in mind when you're buying these kits. Not only are they really inexpensive because they're digital kits, you get to use them as many times as you want, and you can get two weeks out of them, no problem. Okay, so I have lots that I did this week. I'm going to pull out, or I'm going to try and find, I did end up getting the washi from Wonton and a Million, and it is, let me show you. I pulled off, these are the washies that are like individual stickers, so I pulled off one of each so you guys can see it. It's not in that one, it's in this one. So these are all the, the stickers that are on the individual washies from Wonton and a Million that you get at Michael's. And they're just, I mean, they're stacked up and up and up. And then I haven't had a chance to look at the gold foiled yet. And then I've got to find out what I did with my rose colored days gold foil because I would like to use some. Um, this kit has gold in it, so so here is the like gold foiled washi. Not sure how to use this. Is this sticker? I think it's like a sticker. You have to peel the back off. Testing. Yes. Okay, so it's like a sticker, which is good because I, um, it's one way that you know the foil's not going to come off. So I'm happy with that. And cute, cute, cute. Let's do it so you can see it. Cute little emojis in the foil. And then we have... It looks like some heart foil for the skinny boxes or skinny washi. And I, oh, no, it's just dots. So there's dot, uh, dot washi, clear, gold foil. And then we have ch uh, check boxes. So gold foil check boxes, which is neat. I'm making a mess over here on the side of my desk, just so you guys know. Just throw it over there, it's all unraveling. I guess that's the downside of the washi that has the, that doesn't stick. And then these are cute, like, hanging star, uh, hanging things. Like, what do they call those? I, my brain goes dead when I'm trying to think of things. Okay, so... Now, we shall proceed with the planning. Hi, 
Hi everybody, so I sped this video up times four and this is my paper house production planner and uh, the dates don't cover what day covers but I do have my pages numbered per the dates, uh, the days of the week because in last year's planner I kind of forgot to take out some pages that I didn't need so I ended up actually planning or using kits on weeks that I didn't have to plan so now I have like numbered the entire planner because it's not predated so I use the like quadruple box in the bottom right hand corner covering Tuesdays and Wednesday the lower half and I could use that space for planning but I really wanted to use that that big box. Then I use the full box with the house image in it uh, for like my little I guess um, signature image on the top and then a washi um, a glitter header and then I use the word dinner and that is from print and plan on Etsy. It's a um, a digital shop also and then I use one of the full box checklists and I also wanted to mention oh the name of this kit I looked it up is called shoot for the stars and there is one of the stickers that I don't use this time but it's a, um, it says let me find my stickers they are Oh, I guess it doesn't say. I thought it said that. Maybe I printed the one out that didn't have that saying on it, but it says something like shoot for the stars and or shoot for the moon and you'll land upon the stars or something like that. Um, at least I think. But it does have a Cinderella theme, so that, uh, I don't know, that just makes me happy. It's kind of like a spooky, whimsical, um, Theme, which I appreciate and it's kind of dark and I appreciate that too um, these are uh, I use the the laptop well, I'm gonna only tell you if it's not from the kit because almost everything's from the kit and then I'm gonna hand letter and all my hand letter is basically just printing in capital letters so I don't know if you like that or not, but it uh, that's what it kind of amounts to. And then I have this YouTube girl sticker, and I think she is from Uncommon Plans also. Uh, I know several shops use her. I'm flipping through my stickers to try and find her. But um, I use the... It's like the foil ready YouTube, uh, YouTube girl and like there's a whole social media stack of them like there's Twitter and Reddit and honestly I use all of those like I use whenever I post my videos I use Twitter, Reddit, um, Instagram like I post them everywhere so sorry if you hear me flipping through pages I'm just looking for that sticker um, but it's mostly like I'm mostly promoting the the YouTube part of it I guess not promoting but like that's what I'm telling myself I did hey I posted a YouTube video and I, everything else just kind of goes along with it so I use the little YouTube girl uh, and then I used a gas sticker because I did get gas that day another glitter header and then I use the uncommon plans little llama the reading llama and this week I was listening to because I no, normally do all audiobooks I was listening to Sherilyn Kenyon's Asheron and I absolutely love it 
Uh, actually, I'm done with it. I finished it in just a couple days, and it was a two-part book. It was a pretty hefty book, so uh, I started my second book this week. Um, I guess it's my second book of the year, so I'm excited about that. My reading goal is 52 books, so one book averaging one book a week. And right now I'm just looking for my little steps sticker and the step sticker I actually made myself. Um, sorry, my cat just decided that he needed to be on the desk. So um, on the sidebar, I start going like day by day, but I end up filling them all out at one time towards the middle of the week. And the first full bar or full check list is my dinners and for some reason I didn't get like either Wednesdays or Thursdays dinner I think we just had leftovers that day so that's the dinner and I use a little hello studio chef on the dinner header And then the second full box there is steps. And next week I think I'm gonna do steps and calories because I only ended up being able to put my calories in a couple of the days and I track my calories every day. So I think next time I'll just make that second box steps and calories. That's kind of how I track it on a weekly basis. Uh, and then there on Tuesday, there was a lot of stuff on Tuesday and Wednesday, and because I had that big box there, I used some checklists, one three-star checklist, which was like the half box checklist, and then I cut one of the full checklists to have, like, include four stars, or maybe that's vice versa, the, full, the four stars, the half checklist, and I cut down for three stars on the other. I think that's it. And then... Also on Tuesday, I have that little TV icon sticker, functional sticker, and that's from the Hello Studio Company. Also, ah, uh, yes, the, I'm sorry, the YouTube girl is from Uncommon Plans. So, um, that little TV sticker is from Hello Studio Company, and I just documented that we, me and my daughter watched Overboard, which is from like the 1980s, but I think she really enjoyed it. So I've been trying to like just show her some movies that she probably wouldn't watch with her friends or just on her own. The cat is playing in the background. So <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. So um, yeah, every once in a while we just watch one of those. And then Wednesday was a holiday, and I did do an uh, Uncommon Plants video on YouTube. So I have my little doodle corn w sitting on the washi tape, and that is an Uncommon Plants sticker. And then I cleaned. So lots of cleaning because it was my day off. But at the bottom there, you see that I got to sleep in until 8.30, which I did stay up till midnight, but sleeping in until 8.30 for me is pretty uncommon. Normally I'm up between 4.30 and 5, if not earlier. So I thought I'd document that I slept until 8.30. Then I'm just numbering, hand numbering in the rest of the, the dates there and using this weekend banner from the kit. And then I add some full boxes, um, one on each day except for Sunday. On Sunday, I like putting a full box checklist there because typically I can put things that happen next week, but uh, on Sunday was a really busy day, so I actually put things that happened that day. And then the bottom washi in the Happy Planner kit fits the bottom of the uh, Paper House Production Planner really well. On Friday, or I'm sorry, on Thursday, I watched the ASC live video, which is my Artistic Studio Creations um, Facebook live video. It's the scrapbooking design team that I'm on. 
so I always, I usually don't like tune in till 11.30 because that's my lunch break, but uh, it does start at 11. So I use one of Uncommon Plan's Happy Laptop digital stickers, and she has those digital stickers on her Facebook group. So be sure to check out her Facebook group for some free digital stickers to see if it's something that you enjoy using. Um, I love using the digital stickers because they're less expensive and I get to I get to use them multiple times so um, it's it's my personal preference at this point even though her digital stickers are beautiful and she has beautiful paper so I just flip back to the two trackers or two full boxes on the sidebar and filled out the rest of the dinners and the steps so I didn't have to flip back and forth anymore and then to finish off Thursday I put that uh, we had some Arby's and there's one of the doodle corn or no that's the one of the kitty corn stickers there um, she has like a bowl of ice cream and I so cheated and had a Jamocha shake that day from Arby's and then a three star checklist flag. Uh, one is picking up prescriptions and um, clarinet lessons for Madison and my weight at 217.6 pounds, which is way more than it was six months ago or five months ago. And then I used the little bathtub sticker and a quarter box to show that I wash my hair that day. Typically, I wash my hair every day. I go to the gym, so, um, but I had room and I wanted to use that cute little bathtub, so that's what I put. And then Friday, I used the Hello Studio sticker for work and EOM clothes is into the month. And then a quarter box with some weights in it from La Petite Paper, wait. Petite Petticoat Bandit, <laughs> uh, which is also a digital shop that I enjoy using. And under that, I just wrote Jim and put a little squiggly arrow. From the kit, I also used the like mail sticker, the happy mail sticker, and I got my coloring book from my new subscription. Uh, and I haven't even had a chance to really look at it yet, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, it's okay. Um, to finish off Friday, I did some print and cut. So I used the cute cameo and printer from the kit. And then another one of those laptops that is included in the kit. She does have them on her Facebook for free, but um, that laptop was in the kit. And my daughter's boyfriend got a new planner and they did some like all night gaming. And then for Saturday at the top, I used a box because my son's boyfriend, or my boyfriend's son is moving out of her basement in two weeks, and he told me about it then. And then I used the four-star checklist, which is like the half-box checklist for dishes. I went to put some donations in, that it was a rainy day, and I had an afternoon nap. Um, also on Saturday, I did the ASC, my Artistic Studio Creations Design Team YouTube share video. And Madison had another gaming night because it was going to be her last night or almost her last night of... Um, no, it was her last night before she had to go back to school. Let me get that out. Um, and then... Sunday, I actually posted the YouTube video of my Artistic Studio Creations share, and we went to my stepmom's, and I paid my car payment, um, but that morning, all I did was some 2019 planners. I just sat down, and I played with some stickers, and I had a really nice time. Then, so I used that little plan time sticker from the kit. And then I used one of the deco stickers that look like a carriage from Cinderella. It looks like the pumpkin carriage and put that I had an oil change. My oil change. I got my oil change. Excuse me. And then my oldest dog. We have three great Pyrenees and he was feeling kind of um, achy. He has bad legs. So I gave him some Tramadol, which was a prescription from the vet. 
for his aches and pains. So I kind of documented that too. And then I just put some things that we did for the rest of the day in that list. I used the to-do script from Uncommon Plans, which is just a script. Um, she has four different scripts in one purchase. And yeah, I just made the list. So that is my entire layout. And I will have some um, pictures, some still photos at the end if you want to see it. And I'm just using the deco up at the top. And I still have quite a bit of the kit left, so I'm happy about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will do a little talking at the end. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, so it's done. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the process, and maybe next time I can put some glitter washi tape on it, if I can find what I did with it. And that's all I got, so we'll see you next time, and I'm hoping to post a video at least every Wednesday, a planning video every Wednesday, and a scrapbooking or crafting video every Saturday, Sunday. So stay tuned and please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.